Well, howdy, 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 folks. Check this out. I got a question from Black Swan Gaming. And, um, and one question I already answered him, but the other one was a good question, and it was a new question about how do inspections work for hot dogs. Like, he puts on here, if I buy hot dogs from someone like, just for an example, Costco, does that mean I'm safe to use them? Great question. Never been asked this question before. In 10 years, never been asked that. I think it's a fantastic question. I do have an article, however, on um, how to source and where you can buy stuff. Like, where can I buy hot dogs to serve? Where can I buy anything to serve? And it goes back to, like, my video on, on sourcing your products. But pretty much any hot dog you want, you can offer. As long as, in all 50 states, it's pre-cooked. Some states allow you to cook raw meat, but it's rare, okay? Um, real rare. So, and I don't mean the, the heat temperature. So, what, what happens is you can go to a convenience store, okay, and buy hot dogs if you wanted. You could go to Piggly Wiggly. You could go to, um, you know, any, any food distributor that sells food. Yeah, a grocery store, a normal grocery store. You can go to um, Costco. You can go to Sam's. BJ's, any of those, any broadline distributor, or just like I started with the local grocery store. It's a great question. Now, specifically, what he's trying to get at here, and, and I assume it's a guy, it's Black Swan Gaming, I don't know, it could be a girl, but either way, is is trying to get at is, is, is that okay to serve to the public? And the answer is yes. If it's being served to the public, through a means of a distribution channel such as BJ's or Costco or Sam's Club or the grocery store, it's already being served to the public, then you're safe. You're good to go. That would be already approved foods through the FDA. It would be inspected through the USDA. Um, you know, they would be have an, an inspected production facility. So you're fine. Um, now, if you went to, you know, Uncle Bubba who sells locally to, you know, and gives a lot of sausage out to the church, and he said he'll smoke you up some sausages, ain't going to happen. That ain't legal. You can't do that, period. So, as, now you could buy it from him for your own consumption, but you couldn't turn around and resell that because Uncle Bubba probably ain't got a, a certified USDA um, uh, certified inspection or or had one or a certificate so that he can produce to the public so you want to watch that you don't want to go well uncle john he does them, them great goat sausages you know or rabbit sausages or reindeer that's fine you can buy all those exotic meats from other places you want to make sure that you're buying them from a source that's allowed to sell for resale and that's typically anyone that advertises but just don't go to church and meet some dude and think, oh, yeah, I can, I can get these from here now. Um, you know, John John down there behind the, the pool of parts, he, he, he does his own rabbit sausages, and they're really good, and I'm going to serve them there. All right, serve them that. No, you can't do that. Um, that'd violate seven ways to Sunday. So, anyway, great question. Thanks for asking it. hope that helps you. And if you want more help with sourcing, let me tell you what you can do. You can go over to LearnHotDogs.com. Here's where I was already searching for somebody else. And you can type in LearnHotDogs.com. Now, if you'll notice, right over here, I've got a search by keyword. You can search any keyword. But LearnHotDogs.com, you can skip a space on your Google, on your Google, right in your search box. Just LearnHotDogs.com, and before you hit enter, skip a space, so space bar, and then any word that you're looking for. So, in this case, I want to show you where I answer a lot of these questions. There's two places. You can put the number 10, okay, um, and you'll get the top 10 probably. Hopefully this works. Um, nope. So um, let me give you the short version. So if you're doing a, a search and you skip a space, you could from there, okay, type in anything, catering. And Google searches the site and looks for any articles on catering, and there's 32 pages of it. There you go. 32 pages of articles I've done on catering with your hot dog cart and catering in general. So then let's say though we want to answer this question about sourcing products. I'm going to tell you I've done a 
and if you notice I put forward slash 10, it's the top 10 questions I get asked by vendors every single day. Which cart's right for me and my state? Um, hot dog cart vendor training video, steam pans, another top question. Can you put a fryer on a hot dog cart? We get that one a lot. I want to put a deep fryer on my hot dog cart. Yes, you can, but most states don't allow it. Only two do. Okay. Um, what kind of license do I need? I show you there. Do you boil, steam, or grill the hot dogs? Um, what hot dog brand do vendors use most? There's your sourcing. How do I how do I know how much food to take? How do I get a commissary and location set up? And you see this. This is the top ten. How much does it take to get started, and how much time? Now, if you go right up here, you'll see that I have top 42, and you can jump over to it. And top 40, I've broken down into five questions each, and I answer them in a video um, at different stages of fatness. And um, and how many hot dogs do I take with me? Which brand ketchup? Is everybody going to know if I mess up? Should I use paper boats or full? These are the top questions I get asked by brand new vendors. Okay, there's 40 of them. Okay, so feel free to go through this stuff um, and see if your question's answered in that video and then you can grab that, that answer. But um, thanks to Black Swan Gaming for the question. That was fantastic. I'll see y'all later.